With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Here the question is if Levitt's hypothesis is to be believed, then the opening and closing of stomata takes place as a result of in and out of guard cells. Okay, here we have to discuss about the Levitt hypothesis. Okay, options are active transport of calcium ions, second is active transport of potassium ions, third is diffusion of potassium ions, and fourth option is diffusion of calcium ions. Okay, as we know that the stomata opens at daytime, stomata opens at the daytime while closed at the night okay while closed at the night okay and the opening of stomata why the stomata open due to the photos photosynthesis right photosynthesis this the photosynthesis photosynthesis takes place by the through the stomatal pore stomatal pore where the exchange of cases takes place okay this terminal pore is responsible for the exchange of gases okay and here we need that in the process of carbon di photosynthesis carbon dioxide is necessary okay ins is necessary therefore the exchange of gases takes place through the terminal pore and as we know that according to levitt hypothesis the active um, active movement of the potassium ion or active transport of the potassium ion is responsible for the opening and closing of guard cells okay oh, sorry opening and closing of stomata in and out of the guard cells okay according to sorry levitt's hypothesis hypothesis this potassium ions is responsible for the opening and closing of stomata the active transport of potassium ions okay active transport of potassium ion is responsible for opening and closing of stomata okay this is all we know about it okay and we also know that this stomatal pore through which the exchange of gases takes place this stomatal pore is surrounded by some cells is surrounded by some cells known as subsidiary cells subsidiary cells and guard cells okay subsidiary cells and the guard cells okay through which the through where the stomatal pore open or close okay in this process what happens that when the concentration of hydrogen gets increases or proton concentration increases hydrogen ion or proton concentration increases what happens that the formation of organic acid takes place okay organic acid formation takes place through then to balance this concentrations the uh, potassium ions enters from the subsidiary cells okay potassium ions enters from the subsidiary cells which balance the water and also moves towards the guard cells okay which balance the water movement and it enters to the the guard cell okay therefore these when the potassium ion enters into the guard cells the size in of the cell increases okay which also increase the turgidity okay which also increase the turgidity of the stomata then finally the and finally the stomatal pore opens okay stomatal pore opens and in the while at night what happens that while at night the guard cells become placid guard cell 
becomes flaccid and water moves outside water moves outside due to which the stomata gets closed okay stomata closed okay this is the concept of the levet hypothesis okay okay the this if levet hypothesis is believed then the opening and closing of stomata takes place as a result of what it is takes place as a result of the active transport of potassium ions in and out of the gas which we already discussed about the it okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today